Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to discussion of MCCD. What is MCCD? Medical Certificate of Cause of Death. It is one very important exercise, very commonly asked in your FMT practicals. In this session, I am going to discuss about what are the parts of the MCCD. So, what are the parts of the death certificate? and the checklist what is the concept of 1a 1b 1c and 2 then some important examples and lastly what are frequently asked questions in your viva course let's discuss what are the components of death certificate or you can say checklist. So according to CBME curriculum, it carry five mark. In some universities, can be ten marks also. So what are the components? What you need to write? General particulars like name of the hospital, date and time of death, around half mark. Name, age, sex of the patient, cause of death. So, in cause of death, 1A, 1B, 1C, and 2. Point of mark. Manner of death, suicide, homicide, or accidental. Whether it is associated with pregnancy or not, half mark. Lastly, Signature, name and designation, and five marks. So in general, five mark it is. This is MCCD certificate. This is form four. What is form four? The form four for the inpatient death or hospital inpatients. You need to write name of the hospital. Name of the deceased, sex, age at death. If one year or more, age in years, less than one year means infant death, age in months. If less than one month, it is, then you can write in days. If less than one day, then age can be mentioned in hours. Then cause of death, so what we can see here in cause of death, 1 and 2, there are two parts are there, 1 again, 1A, one 1B, one 1C, one sometime 1D also, and also you need to mention interval between onset and death, approximate. Then part 2, the manner of death, how did the injury occur, natural, Accident, suicide, homicide are pending investigation. If deceased was a female, was pregnancy the death associated with? Yes or no. So this is form 4, almost similar to form 4 only. This is form 4A. This is for non-institutional death. The important concept here is the cause of death. So, cause of death. How to write the cause of death in the death certificate? As I discussed before, death certificate has two parts. What are two parts? Part 1 and part 2. Part 1 and part 2. Again, part 1 is classified into 1A. 1B and 1C. What is 1A? What is 1A? Remember 1A, it is the immediate cause. Immediate cause. Immediate cause should be mentioned in 1A. What is that? That can be state, 
of the disease or it can be injury or it can be complication which cause the death not the mode of dying many of the student they mention cardio respiratory failure in cause of death 1a it's a clearly given in the death certificate it is not the mode of dying like heart failure or asthenia so 1a in general it is immediate cause leading to the death of the person 1a then interval between onset and death okay so 1a immediate cause of death antecedent cause that comes under 1b and 1c what do you mean by antecedent antecedent meaning is come before come before the 1a that is 1b okay the 1b it is antecedent cause antecedent cause 1c that is the main cause our main underlying cause that leads to 1b you can see here 1a due to consequence of 1b 1b due to consequence of 1c that means 1c leads to 1b and 1b leads to 1a let's discuss some more points here 1a that is immediate cause it is one entry always you should mention one disease or one injury in that one entry and remember always entry so you must enter at least one injury or disease in 1a avoid mode of dying like respiratory failure heart failure then 1b what is 1b antecedent that is come before come before what immediate cause in respect to what that is the time the important point here is the time or sometime etiopathogenesis etiopathogenesis like example ischemic heart disease leading to myocardial infarction so myocardial infarction is one a ischemic heart disease that can be one b so based on the etiopathogenesis then 1c 1c is main underlying cause in exam they can ask you the question which is known as essence of death certificate or heart of the death certificate your answer should be 1c that is the main underlying cause also known as essence of death certificate and also need to mention the interval between the onset and the death now what, what comes in part 2 in part 2 other significant condition to the death but not related to the disease or condition causing it okay other significant condition either it can be hypertension diabetes mellitus alcoholism smoking so all this comes under part 2 sometime environmental factors surgical or atrogenic cause other significant condition comes under you can repeat 1a immediate cause of death 1b leads to 1a which is known as antecedent cause 1c leads to 1b which is generally known as main underlying essence of death certificate so this concept based on what that is etiopathogenesis and the time interval between onset and the death my question is what if there is only one condition that you need to answer what if there is only one condition antecedent to immediate cause immediate cause in that case what to write that you need to answer in the comment section now one example one good example you can see here you must be knowing polycystic kidney disease so it is a condition associated with chromosome number 16 right polycystic kidney disease 
the well known complication is hypertension hypertension can lead to renal failure so this is pathogenesis so polycystic kidney hypertension renal failure so renal failure should come as 1a because of renal failure the person died so what was the cause antecedent to that that is hypertension hypertension was due to polycystic kidney so this is the concept of 1a 1b and 1 Sometimes there can be other conditions which are not associated with the death that is ischemic heart disease. Okay, here. One good example to remember how to explain this 1A, 1B and 1C. There is a nice picture in the slide. What you can see here, grandmother, mother and the granddaughter. Right. So, 1C, 1B and 1A, right? So 1C, 1B and 1A. So this is how you can remember. So always 1C should come first. So 1A due to what? 1B. 1B due to that is 1C. Then examples, some important examples, common examples. For example, a case of death due to ischemic heart disease. Ischemic heart disease. One way to give MCCD that is immediate cause of death is pulmonary embolism. Since one hour, pulmonary embolism can be caused by acute myocardial infarction. So he was suffering from acute MI since seven days. Because of that, pulmonary embolism. Chronic ischemic heart disease since eight years. So this is how you can write in this ischemic heart disease. And other conditions here, diabetes mellitus, obesity, hypertension, congestive heart disease. One example. Second example, death due to peritonitis. Immediate cause of death is peritonitis. That is 1A. Peritonitis as a consequence of perforation of duodenum. Perforation of duodenum is due to what? Duodenal ulcer. As you know, duodenal ulcer can lead to two important complications. Either perforation or bleeding. So again here, time interval you need to mention. This is how you should mention. Carcinoma is other significant condition found in the patient. Second example. Third example. Example number three related to COVID-19. COVID-19 is a main underlying cause. As you know, COVID-19 can lead to ERDS. ERDS can lead to respiratory stenosis. You can see the time duration here, two days, three days, and seven days. So the main underlying cause is COVID-19. The cause of death, immediate cause of death, one year is respiratory stenosis, which is a well-known complication of ERDS. Sometimes death due to hypertrophy of prostate. How? Let's see. Hypertrophy prostate. Can lead to retention of urine that lead to uremia and death. Or death due to road traffic accident. So RTA can lead to fracture of the skull and death of the person. Death due to gunshot wound. Gunshot wound leading to perforation of heart. A perforation of heart leading to cardiac tamponade. So 1A, 1B and 1C. Again, you can see here the duration is almost same. It's immediate death. It's a case of homicide, immediate death. Then case of gangrene of foot. Let's see in this gangrene of foot, what is the certificate given? A certificate or incorrect certificate given by doctor here is 1A he mentioned diabetes, 1B he mentioned gangrene of foot, 1C he mentioned carcinoma of pancreas or chronic bronchitis. This is wrong here. How gangrene of foot lead to diabetes? Okay. How carcinoma of pancreas lead to gangrene of foot? Oh. When you look at the etiopathogenesis, it is going to be incorrect. So what is the correct certificate here? Carcinoma of pancreas. Yes, it's a common cancer. Can lead to diabetes. Yes. Diabetes can lead to what? Gangrene of the foot. So gangrene of foot 
can be immediate cause of death. Chronic bronchitis, no, it is an associated condition. But here it is mentioned in 1C. That is not the main underlying cause here. Let's see one more incorrect certificate. The certificate given here is ischemic heart disease leading to cataract. Cataract leading to retention of urine with hypertrophic prostate hyperuria. It is definitely wrong. What should be the correct certificate? Cataract should come in part 2. Hypertrophy of prostate can lead to retention of urine. Retention of urine can lead to uremia. This is the correct sequence that you need to write in the exam. Case number 9. One more example for incorrect certificate. Here you can see here 1A mentioned HIV, 1B mentioned pneumonia, 1C mentioned septicemia. How septicemia can lead to pneumonia? How pneumonia can lead to HIV here? Right. So it is incorrect. The correct certificate is HIV infection can lead to pneumonia, pneumonia can lead to septicemia. Okay. Then one more example, renal failure. Renal failure as a result of polycystic kidney disease. So here, incorrect certificate mentioned is polycystic kidney disease caused by renal failure, caused by ischemic heart. This is wrong. Correct certificate is renal failure caused by hypertension, hypertension caused by polycystic kidney, ischemic heart disease is a associated condition. So all these are 10 important examples for your better understanding. And the picture that is showing here is the polycystic kidney disease it is associated with chromosome number 16. Then what are the frequently asked questions? The question number one, the importance of reporting and sequence accurately. It's again uh, based on your knowledge, based on your hypothesis. An example here, one example, a diabetic man who had been under insulin control, diabetic under insulin control for many years developed ischemic heart disease, died suddenly from MI. Now here you can mention or you can write the certificate in two sequential order. Either it can be like this, diabetes mellitus leading to chronic ischemic heart disease leading to MI. You can see the duration here, 12 years, 5 years, 1 hour. So this can be one sequence. Or, or if you feel or if you consider that heart condition developed independently of the diabetes, then it can be 1A myocardial infarction, 1B chronic ischemic heart disease, part 2 that is diabetes mellitus. You can keep 1C blank here. Okay. It's again all based on the etiopathogenesis. Next condition, next question, how many cause of death can be entered in part 1? How many can be entered? The answer should be only one condition. Only one condition, not more than that. Only one condition you have to mention in part 1. 1A that is one condition, 1B one condition, 1C one condition. What if there is only one condition? So, as you know, 1A, 1B, 1C, there are three parts. But in, in a case, there is only one condition that is leading to death of the person, which is known as immediate cause. Then you can write only 1A and keep 1B, 1C blank, blank. Okay. What if there is only one condition antecedent to immediate cause? Then you can write 1A and 1B, you can keep 1C blank. Next question, what should be entered in part 2 of MCCD? Other significant condition, what are they? Alcohol, smoking history, environmental factors or any surgical information? or any iatrogenic underlying cause, all this comes under part 2, other significant conditions. Next question can be like this. What you should avoid while completing MCCD? You should avoid these. Avoid abbreviations. 
like example crf you have to mention chronic renal failure only okay not the cr mi must mention myocardial infarction not the mi ms that is mitral stenosis okay. avoid mode of dying cause of death in one year like example cardiac arrest heart attack avoid those terminologies instead of that you can write mi or emaciation shock heart failure synco uremia vagal inhibition vasovagal attack debility okay all this you can avoid while writing mcc mode of dying like say here hypovolemic shock instead of mentioning hypovolemic shock you can mention it as hypovolemia that is the correct word avoid vague terms ambiguity like example irrelevant talking and fever instead of that you can write delirium what do you mean by delirium disturbed consciousness that can be due to or also it can be delirium so so here avoid very poor nourishment poor nourishment avoid this vague terminology instead of that mention severe malnutrition less healthy at birth instead of that you write low birth weight or congenital anomaly that is the correct word avoid short forms incomplete description like cabr what is cabr so mention properly cancer of breast cancer of brain then avoid symptoms and signs some they mention jaundice avoid jaundice instead of that you can write hepatitis and this is due to what hepatitis fever infection you can write can doctor charge fees for issuing death certificate yes or no your answer should be as you know according to this act the registration of birth and death act 1969 so no fees is taken while issuing death certificate okay and the birth and death should be registered within 21 days can doctor issue death certificate in unnatural death unnatural death or suspicion and suspicious death or a broad dead broad dead patient to a hospital or a dead on arrival the answer is usually no because because you are not sure about the cause of death here okay so in that answer should be no better you send the or request for the autopsy to find out the cause of death in these cases issuing false certificate like example false death certificate it can be punishable under various ipc section now it is under bns section bharati and i am and also under the guidelines given by nmc the medical ethics one example here delhi medical council suspend doctor for providing fake medical certificate giving fake medical certificate is a punishable offense one more example here the punishment can be suspension suspension of that is removal of name of the doctor from the medical register it can be temporary or it can be permanent it is known as professional death sentence according to nmc guidelines yes then there is a homework for you you must write in the comment section what is section 102 what is section 103 and 102 and 103 and 171b and 233 of the act which is known as essence of death certificate as discussed already one c is known as essence of death certificate because it contain main underlying counts so this is what about mccd discussed all the important components checklist the cause of death what are the parts what are sub clauses 1a 1b and 1c and 1d and what is the concept behind it and an important example with correct certificate and incorrect certificate and some frequently asked questions while writing mcs thank you